it's me and I'm at the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho and I'm about to make something I've been dying to make for you. It's a rainbow polka dot Swiss roll and it's super easy, although it's a little bit complicated, but that's okay. You guys can handle it and we're gonna start right away. Let's go. So the first thing we need to do is to make the batter for the detailing. So that's how we make all the little polka dots that go around the outside of the Swiss roll. And to do that, I'm gonna start by putting 50 grams of icing sugar through a sieve into a bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add 50 grams of unsalted butter, which is nice and soft. And then using my hand mixer, I'm just gonna whip that up a little bit to make it a little bit lighter. So now that that's really well combined, I'm gonna add two egg whites from large free range eggs. So keep the yolks if you wanna make some lemon curd or some custard, but for now, just separate those whites and pop them in this bowl. So just using your mixer again, just mix that all up for about a minute or two. So now that that's had a, a minute, I'm gonna add 50 grams of plain flour, just pop it through a sieve. And then using this again, just mix that all up till it's all smooth. Right, that's all ready, it's all nice and smooth, but it's pretty boring right now. So I've got six bowls here, and I'm gonna divide this batter into six, and add color paste to each one to make it the colors of the rainbow. So now that all my colors are mixed in, I'm going to put them all into individual piping bags. I'm using disposable ones, um, but you can use whatever you want. Um, disposable ones, just turn the, the collar of it over to avoid getting any of it all over your hands and just pop it in. But give it a little twist to make sure it's all down at the bottom and then carry on with all the rest of them. So now we've got all the colours ready, and next comes the exciting bit, but first of all, I need to have a little clear up, so. So the next thing we need to do is get our design on, and I have in front of me a baking tray. You can buy Swiss roll tins, specifically for Swiss rolls, but I've just found one that happens to be A4 size, which is perfect, because I have an A4 piece of paper in there. And that has a little design on it of a rainbow polka dot extravaganza, and if you click on the link in the description box below, you can download that yourself. And over the top of that, I've put a piece of baking parchment just to fit exactly the bottom of this tin. And I've stuck them to each other so they stop slipping around. And then I'm just going to snip a small amount off the end of each of my piping bags and draw little circles on using this design as a guide, doing one colour at a time. You want to do this as neatly as you can and just keep on going until all your dots are filled. So once you've done all your rainbow dots, it's time to chill that so you can either put it in the freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes or you can put it in the fridge for about half an hour. So while my dots are chilling in the fridge I'm going to get on with making the Swiss roll batter. So I'm going to start with three eggs and I'm going to separate them. So they're large free range eggs. Put the yolks in one bowl and the whites in the other. So I've got 80 grams of caster sugar here and I'm going to put half of that in with my egg whites and get whisking. Once it's um, reached stiff peaks and it's really nice and white and glossy, you can then add the rest of your sugar to your egg yolks and get whisking. You can use the same whisk, you don't have to wash them up or anything. Right. 
Right, my egg yolks and sugar have fluffed up and gone quite considerably paler, so they're ready to be mixed with the egg whites. And you want to do that slowly in three stages, using a spatula or a metal spoon just to fold it gently through. So I'm folding it in using this spatula in circular motion, because you don't really want to get a big clunky wooden spoon in there and knock all that air out that you just made. You want to be nice and gentle and just mix it as minimally as possible. All right, that's looking really nice and fluffy. So now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I've got 45 grams of butter, which I melted just before I started this. It's unsalted butter. And I've also got 75 grams of plain flour. I'm going to add half of each, putting the flour through a sieve. And I'm going to fold that in gently as well before adding the next lot and folding that in too. And that's my batter ready. So now it's time to bring the dots back out of the fridge or the freezer. So I'm going to go grab them. And they're really cooled and they're chilled and they've gone a little bit firm. So now I'm going to put this batter on top and they're going to stay where they are. I'm going to smooth it out with a palette knife. Right, once that's all level, you just need to bake that at 180 degrees C for seven or eight minutes until it's springy to the touch. So it's come out of the oven and it's still really hot. And while it's hot, I'm going to trim around the inside of the baking tray to make nice clean lines. And once you've done that, just get yourself a sheet of something, like a nice sturdy sheet, pop it over the top and flip it over while it's still warm. So you can see it's left this frame of sponge and you've got your picture underneath, so just get rid of that. You can nibble on those bits later. And then you need to turn this the other way around. So I've got a tea towel here, this is going to keep it nice and moist. Just put your hand on the top and gently flip it over. And then get yourself a piece of greaseproof paper and just lay that over the top of it. And then using the little bit of greaseproof paper underneath, just pick it up and start rolling. Using the tea towel, roll it back around just so that that keeps nice round shape. And that tea towel is going to help keep it all nice and moist so it doesn't split and dry out. Now you can fill your Swiss roll with anything you like. You can use buttercream or ganache or something like that. But I like to keep it really simple and just have whipped cream and jam with a bit of fruit inside. So I'm just going to get whipping. So I've got half a cup of double cream here. Just pop that in a bowl. And I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract because I like it. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And I'm just going to whisk this by hand because I like doing it. So now I'm going to fill my Swiss roll with all this good stuff. So grab it back and gently unroll it. Firstly, I'm going to put a layer of jam. And then I'm going to get that lovely whipped cream and put a layer of that on as well. Once you've got a nice layer of cream, you can add some fruit if you want. I'm going to add some chopped strawberries and a few blueberries. So now it's time to roll it. So using your tea towel, just pick up the edge closest to you and guide it into position, nice and tight. And then keep on using your tea towel to guide it round so that you have a nice roll. So it's all nice and rolled, but the edges are a little bit skew whiff because they're kind of not quite filled all the way. So I'm going to use a serrated knife to just neaten up those edges. So once those edges are nice and neat, it is ready to present. So I've got myself a little cake stand. I'm just going to gently pick it up and pop it on. Whoop. So there it is delicious, light and fluffy, full of goodies, 
And the best bit, it's covered in rainbow polka dots. What could be better? I hope you guys try this and I hope you enjoy this video. And if you'd like to see more videos by me, then do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that link up there. I'll be back next week with something Easter-y for you guys. So until then, have a great week baking. Bye.